I'm live. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Tony Schiavone with our AEW Dynamite post game show, and I'm live here in Jacksonville. Uh, what? We're live now. Okay, live, live. Okay, it's Tony Schiavone live in Jacksonville. AEW post game show. Thanks, everybody, for being with us. Please give us your comments. I can probably try to answer uh, as many questions as possible. We uh, had, uh, hey, Wesley, what's up, buddy? We had a. Uh, uh, Jason, how you doing? You slap dick. Charlie Rosenberg, Matt, Matthew, and they're all popping in now. Evan, Evan Wright, Victor, Chris Smith, Ben, Rico. Whoa, Andy Blevins is here. How you doing, man? Tim, Victor, if I missed your name, I'm very sorry. Uh, we appreciate everybody. Uh, what happened to Jeff Cobb? I think he had some uh, he had some issues with contracts as far as he was tied up with somebody else. That's what we think happened. I'm doing great. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, we had a, I thought we had a, a great uh, finish of the show tonight. <clears throat> it was uh, really great to, to be able to, to get back to work at JR and Excalibur again. And uh, we certainly did have a good time. We had a lot of fun. It's, uh, it's a very unique time, as you guys know, uh, to be uh, trying to produce a wrestling show and uh, trying to be able to, uh, to stay relevant. It's time to time to trying to entertain. I hope everybody is healthy. I hope uh, that uh, your family's healthy and your loved ones are healthy. And uh, most of the people I know are healthy. Uh, just to let you know a couple of things. Uh, first of all, and I'll just say your names. Uh, uh, some things, uh, and I'll miss everybody here. But hello to uh, uh, let's see, Matthew Edwards, uh, Adam, uh, Miguel Tome, Felix Mejia. Uh, some of the people who have come through here. Uh, uh, what was I talking about? Boy, every time you every time you have a show and you think, wow. So anyway, uh, just to let you guys know that, you know, we had to, uh, many of us came in yesterday uh, and we had to be tested for COVID. Once we got tested for COVID, we got the yellow stripe to allow us to be, that we were clean. And then uh, we had to today have our temperature taken uh, and you had the blue one to say that you can get in as well. So we were really uh, very, very careful. Uh, in the commons area out here, everybody's wearing a mask. And uh, so that's, uh, you know, some of the things that we're doing to uh, to certainly make uh, make it safer for us. Uh, let's see, we had Joey Janela against Cody uh, earlier tonight, which I thought was a great opening match. Uh, Nyla Rose, as dominant as ever in her match. Who else? John Moxley, Frankie Gazzari, and Frankie really gave us a tremendous match. And I think you guys all would agree. Uh, Sean, the AEW man, is here. How you doing, Sean? Good to see you. Uh, Jason Roach from West Virginia. How you doing? Claire Alexander, how are you? Uh, Colin Kraft, Ryan O'Toole, Phil Westbrook, BJ Smith. Uh, the show next week, I will not be live, uh, but it will be here from Daily's Place. Uh, QT Marshall against Lance Archer. Uh, I don't know how you feel about snakes, but uh, <clears throat> no, not me. Uh, let's see. Jordan Burton is here. Uh, Keith. And again, I'm going to miss some of your names. I'm sorry. They're just kind of all piling up here. Jesse Hernandez. Uh, what do I think about the snake on Brandy? I thought it was, uh, well, it was a throwback to the 90s, wasn't it? And the 80s. Uh, but it was... Uh, <clears throat> You are, uh, you're exactly right. Uh, bet it reminded you of dealing with Herd. Uh, nothing reminds me of dealing with Herd. Uh, Jim Herd was a, was a good dude, but uh, just kind of misguided uh, in his running of a wrestling company. Stephen Hedrick is here from Indiana. Jason Abrams, uh, who's obviously an Eagles fan. Good for you. I'm glad you love your, uh, glad you love your team. David uh, Molsevich, I don't, I'm probably not saying that right. Uh, no, I guess uh, he's going to be going by Pineapple Pete in the near future, right? Uh, so, uh, so yeah, it was it was good. I uh, really enjoyed uh, again. Uh, uh, I really enjoyed. Uh, actually, yeah, I'm still on. We're still good. Uh, I enjoyed being able to work with him again. So there you go. Uh, 
And let's see. I they got so many comments here. I got to hit the new comments and go. Oop, and I miss a lot of the comments. That's okay. Yeah, I miss some of the trolls too. What you know? You know Hello, Thomas Bailey from Kentucky. Chris Garner. What does this TNT Championship look like? It's. Uh, I, I got to look at a, uh, a kind of a mock up of it today. Uh, it is gold and silver. Uh, are we allowed to show that? No. Okay. No, <laughs> it's gold and silver. Can I say what's on one side of it? No. Okay. One side. One side of it's a very a big surprise on one on two sides about very big surprise for your old school wrestling fans. Let's put it that way. I thank you. Thank you. Who do I want to see in AEW? Well, uh, that I I just want everybody to have a job. I I'm, I really feel bad about the kids who lost their job in uh, WWE. It would be uh, wrong for me to say who I want in AEW. Uh, I want everybody to have a job. And uh, what happened to WWE was not that good. Uh, uh, Holly Molly Donut Shop wants to see get Britt, get Britt Baker on here. Uh, yeah. Uh, there you go. Uh, Freddie J. Reyes is a, from Ohio is here. Hey, Freddie, how you doing, man? Uh, does Conrad all own the TNT title? Ha! Huh. No, he does not. Uh, that belt's not been made yet, but it's, I mean, we've got till the 23rd, right, to finally get it done. Uh, let's see, Colton Aaron is here. Thank you very much, Colton, for being with us. Uh, who else we got? Uh, Jody White, uh, Tony Howard, thank you very much. Uh, Antonio Santos, what's up? Good to be talking to you, buddy. Zanesville, Ohio, bam. Old school wrestling with a mix of new trying to make it big. Any advice? Yes, Flip. Never let anybody tell you no. They've told me no plenty of times. You're going to hear no than more, many more times uh, than, the, uh, than you hear yes. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. I'm alive here with people on the posting show. Can I say hello to them? Yes. Well, look who stepped in and said hello. Hi, everybody. Hey, it's, it's my grandmother's favorite wrestling, <laughs> wrestling announcer. Tell them, be nice to him, Tony. Okay. okay. We got a hell of a show tonight, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did. We really I love that show. Yeah, it was great shit. Let's it? do it again. We'll do it again. All right. Okay, thanks. buddy. Thanks. Okay, you got to you got to ride back. Rafi's gonna take you back. Yeah. Okay. All right, buddy. Thank you. All right, man. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, yes, I am on PS4. Spent a lot of time on PS4. Uh, unfortunately, I try to spend not every day on PS4, but every other day. So there you go. Uh, anyway, uh, Frank Smith, thank you for being out there. Uh, Dave Pryor, you're right. The Omega Moonstall off the cart was insane. Uh, as you may know, I, I, you know, there's a lot that we don't know as wrestling announcers. And we kind of like it that way because our reaction, I think, is pretty genuine. So uh, I, I remember as they're setting this match up, I was like, I wonder what's going to go on. And uh, somebody in the truck told me, you want to know what's going to happen? I said, nah, let's just react. Uh, where's Nasty Leroy? I, uh, Herberto, I don't know where he is. Uh, Brillo is calling from Australia. What's up, buddy? I appreciate that. Uh, any memories of Dallas, Texas? Freddie Vergara show wants to know any memories of Dallas, Texas. Yes, we worked Reunion Arena in Dallas. And it was so freaking hot, we couldn't go outside. And Herschel Walker was playing with the Cowboys at that time. Big, big uh, Georgia Bulldog, as you know. And I worked for the Georgia Network. I didn't at that time, but I do now. And he saw me in the back. Uh, Brett Hall was back there at the Stars as well. Herschel came up to me and hugged me and grabbed me tight and said, I've been watching you since I was a little boy. Well, I got to thinking that uh, 1983 was his first year in the, uh, if you recall, the old USFL. In 1983, was my first year in pro wrestling. So I don't think Herschel was a little boy. I think he was a grown-up when he, when he saw me. So, But it, that was my memory of Dallas, Texas. Love Dallas, Texas. Love. As a matter of fact, we work Garland, Texas. And don't think I wouldn't love to move to Garland, Texas. You just Great homes there. Great people. It was one of our favorite places. Uh, let's see. Emmett Smith was better. <laughs> There's a Florida Gator for you. Okay, uh, what else we got? Thanks, Bill Cowan. Appreciate that. Fort Worth is here. Uh, let's see, 500 if I had but the lamp. Right. Uh, David Green, is that Dave Silva's tie? Happy birthday, Dave Silva. It is a Dave Silva tie, and happy birthday to Dave Silva, you piece of shit. Okay, what else we got? Uh, 
Yeah, I love Dave Silva. Good man. Let's see what else we got. Um, Dakota Craig, he's the one who wanted me to uh, head about the lamp. Can't do it. Uh, Jeremy Wheels, let's go Cowboys. Yeah. Do these wrestlers right now remind you of the WCW days? I think the wrestlers today kind of remind me more of maybe the old Jim Crockett NWA days, you know, in many ways. The WCW days uh, did not leave a good taste in my mouth, as you might have noticed. My work wasn't great. Uh, probably sucked, which is fine. I, I'm a man enough to admit that. And when I think about the WCW days, I think about the bad, bad times, and I really shouldn't. I should think about the good times we had because we had uh, we had uh, some good times, too. Hello, one wrestling fan from L.A. Hello, the Redhead Revolution from South Jersey. Junior Mota is from San Francisco. All the way from Brazil is Nathaniel the Dean Jim Jaden Jordan from Mexico. Houston's in the house from Cameron Merrick. Uh, let's see. Yeah. You want to talk? I'm online here. You want to talk to me? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Jessica Palumbo, one of the great producers. Yay. You may, you may have seen her make her TV debut last couple of weeks holding the microphone. <laughs> Jess, did a great job. Thank you, Tony. Yeah, well. I uh, get a lot of guidance from you. Uh -huh. I don't know um, how I can ever thank you, but you do such a great job. At thank AEW, you. Thank you. Know? I love but, you, Jess. Uh, these are all your fans. Yeah. Yeah, that, that all the uh, AEW fans. That's Jess Palumbo. Thanks for watching. Yes. Yes. I edited uh, the video package that you guys see as well. So. Yeah, she's uh, she's right on top of things, man. Yeah, I gotta go back to work though. So. I know you got a lot of stuff you got to do. I try my you, best. Guys. You got Nathan and Robert Peake. We got a great yeah, crew. Yeah. They have a great I'll crew. All led by the great Tony Chirac. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Love you, sweetie. Thank you. Okay. Uh, anyway, so there you see another. Uh, yes. Uh, a lot of good people. Uh, I would have uh, Jeff Jones come in, but he he sucked at being a referee, and he just would stand in the corner and not make a call. <laughs> uh, boy. Uh, let's see. Lunatics at AEW fake. Lunatic Ambrose. Can't put anything past you, can we, Lunatic? Jesus Christ, your mom will let you out of the womb. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, Robbie Belford, who is the best wrestler in the world, Tony? Uh, well, it would be John Moxley right now, wouldn't it? Kenny Omega is still tremendous. Uh, Cody is ranked number one. But right now, it'd be hard to uh, look past Lance Archer and what he's been doing. Who is your favorite mass wrestler? Vincent Guzzi wants to know. My favorite mass wrestler will be and will always be the mass superstar, Bill Eady. And, and that's with a tip of the cap to Jody Hamilton, the mask assassin, who's a friend. But I grew up watching Bill Eady, the mass superstar. That was in my heyday. Okay. Could Mike Tanay come to AEW? Probably could. Uh, Mike's kind of uh, been sequestered, as we all have, but uh, I, I text Mike there now and then, and he uh, we just don't talk as much as we used to. Jeremy Wheels, shout out to Buffalo. Any pre-show rituals? Uh, let's see. We get here at 1 o'clock. Uh, at three o'clock, we have a, we all get on set. The announcers get on the table. We look at all the packages we're going to see, uh, and we look at all the rundowns that we're going to do as far as the graphics. You know, coming up uh, tonight, we run down the graphics, decide who's going to say what, kind of do a rehearsal for that. Have dinner about five o'clock maybe, and then we got three hours just to sit down and prep for the show. There's a lot of stuff that we do for dark, a lot of interviews. Uh, I usually work on dark a little bit. And uh, we kind of like uh, get that all out. So that's kind of what we do. It, it really goes by quickly. I mean, you look like, wow, one o'clock and now eight o'clock, we're going to have what? Uh, we're going to be seven hours here. It's going to be a long time. It goes by quickly. Yes, uh, Mox and the exalted one for the AEW championship is confirmed. John Paul Herrera from the Philippines. Thank you for asking. I appreciate that. Uh, how can you watch Dark? Dark is on our AEW uh, YouTube channel on Tuesdays. That's how you watch Dark. Uh, Tony, say hi to me, James. James Francis Tamuro Jr. Hi, James. Any update on Dustin's condition? I haven't seen much of Dustin. 
Uh, you know, Dustin may just uh, just he may pack it in. He may uh, he may say that's enough. You know, uh, we uh, we have many great MVPs here. None greater than Raphael Morphy, who has stopped in to say hello. Hello, Rafi. How you doing? You see Britt Baker out there anywhere? Is she? Yeah. Ask her if she wants to come and say hello to the fans with me. Tell her we don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, really. No, no it's, uh, we're live here on uh, Dynamite Post Game Show. Yeah. Just to come in and say hi. You doing wrap up? I want Britt to come in and say hi. Oh. Maybe she could, and then we'll wrap it up. So getting ready. When is AEW shutting down? Moxley, you think we're shutting down? Really? You read a lot of bullshit, don't you? Why would we put all this effort into put it? And we got a four-year contract with uh, TNT. You are so full of shit. But you're not the only one out there. We appreciate you being out there. Well, Dana might be on in South America. Well, uh, I guess you can go get the TNT app. She going over a match? Yeah. Okay. All right. So Britt's not going to make it, and that was kind of, uh, uh, yes, where is the makeup chair? There you go. Um, let's see. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, Ryan Silva. My favorite baseball player of all time is Reggie Jackson. Okay? All right. So I'm told we got to wrap it up. We appreciate everybody being with us. Thank you very much. Don't forget to join us uh, right here on the YouTube channel as we have uh, Dark coming up on on Tuesday, we got the Road 2 coming up on Monday. Don't forget BTE being the elite uh, that comes out as well during the week. And back here next week for Dynamite on TNT, 8 o'clock, 7 central. All right? Thanks, everybody, for watching. We appreciate it. Love to all of you. Take care of yourself and your family, all right? Thank you.